हेलो फ्रेंड्स सुपर फास्ट स्टडी एंड एक्सपेरिमेंट वेलकम्स यू इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट इंटरनल गियर पंप इंटरनल गियर पंप एंड इट्स इंटरनल पार्ट आल्सो वी अंडरस्टैंड द वर्किंग ऑफ इंटरनल गियर पंप विद द हेल्प ऑफ एनिमेटेड वीडियोस सो बेसिकली गियर पंप्स आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स फर्स्ट इंटरनल गियर पंप एंड सेकेंड इज एक्सटर्नल गियर पंप बोथ हैव देयर ऑन एडवांटेजेस एंड एप्लीकेशन now this video is all about internal gear pump so let's start this is internal gear pump in internal gear pump one external gear and one internal gear arrangement is used you can see here external gear is installed between and inside the internal gear and in between them where gapping is more the clearance is more one stationary part which is called spacer or crescent is fitted and it is fixed with its casing few gears of external gear is in mesh with internal gear and this meshing is in between inlet and outlet port external gear is a driving gear and is connected to motor while internal gear is a driven gear means when external gear rotates its internal gear also rotates because it is in meshing with each other and direction of rotation of both the gear is same with the help of this image you can easily understand the construction of internal gear pump it consists of a casing in one half motor shaft is connected and motor shaft is directly connected to external gear in this casing crescent which is called spacer is fixed and it is a stationary part while the both the gears internal and external is free to rotate now let us understand with the help of animated video here gear meshing you can see a small portion is in mesh with each other both the gears are in mesh with each other and it is the meshing area is between inlet and outlet ports if we look carefully what we obtain is that near suction side where external and internal gear demeshes with each other hence both the teeths are separated from each other and hence a cavity is a clearance is created at that point at suction's point clearance is created which generates a negative pressure and low pressure zone is created hence fluid are ready to enter the pump because of low pressure now fluid is start to compress when it comes to crescent zone here fluid get trapped between the clearance between the teeth of external and internal gear and it moves forward to upward direction now what happens at the discharge point here slightly and slowly the clearance between the both the teeth decreases and hence it compresses the fluids high pressure zone is created due to small clearance between teeth and hence the fluid get compressed and pressurized so high pressure discharge is obtained internal gear pump gives a constant flow of high pressure fluid and it is also used for loading and unloading because a internal gear pump is operated in both the directions so this is one of the most big advantage of an internal gear pump so friends this video is on internal gear pump i hope you like it if this video is even 1% helpful to you please subscribe my channel there are a number of such type of videos in this channel thanks for watching